Hi guys, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to talk about a topic that I'm super passionate about, obviously related to travel, but I really wanted to talk more specifically about traveling as a student. If you didn't know, I'm currently in university, I'm in my second year. I feel like people always think that it's really difficult or not possible to travel as a student. I've always had people around me say like, oh I'll just go travel after I'm done my degree or after the four years is over, then I'll go travel. For me personally, I just I knew I couldn't wait that long and I knew that going to school is such a big investment too. You know, when you leave school then you're gonna have a lot of student debt to pay off or you're maybe going on to get a job, anything like that. And I think it's so incredibly important to travel while you're young too. It's just such an incredibly mind-opening experience. You get a totally new perspective on everything. I just, I love learning about other cultures and being immersed in everything around me and exploring. So yeah, that's why I really wanted to dive into this and kind of give a little background of what I've done so far and how I've made it possible while going to university full-time. And if you're a student right now and you want to travel, then it's totally possible and you can do it. So to give a little background, first of all, I just want to say that I am so incredibly thankful for all the opportunities that I've had to travel so far. Like really before this past year, so before 2018, I really haven't done that much travel. Like it's always something I knew I wanted to do growing up, but I never really went on like a ton of big family vacations or anything. Like I had a lot of friends that were like always traveling. They are always going on trips with their families and I was like, I really wish that I had that similar situation. But we did a few trips, but not anything too crazy. Last year, I went to Europe for the first time. I went to Spain, Italy, and France with EF Ultimate Break, actually. I signed up for the trip by myself, which was very ambitious. <laughs> um, I'm quite an ambitious person. I just kind of like go for things when I get an idea about it. When I signed up in my last year of high school and then the trip was last August. So, And I made a ton of friends when I was there too and it was so awesome. I'll link the Ultimate Break down below so you can check it out. I absolutely loved the trip. It was incredible. And then in November, I went to Maui with my family which was awesome. I am so happy we finally got to do that. We had been trying to go. My dad was playing in a golf tournament actually so that's like the reason we went. Um, and we had always like wanted to go to Hawaii as a family and all that. Only thing is that it was a course during school and not only was it during school but it was during the busiest week of the semester probably. I had two midterms that week and a paper due and I think I had to make up an oral exam when I got back so there was a lot happening but I basically made it work. And then I also just got back a few weeks ago from Taiwan. I went there to stay with my friend for a week and it was absolutely incredible. I loved every second of that trip. Like it honestly felt like a second home for me. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So that's kind of what I've done. I could talk about all of those trips forever. Yeah, I have pretty much paid for all of the trips I have done so far myself except the family trip to Maui, of course. So basically I wanted to touch on mindset revolved around traveling money, which is a big one, and time. It's all very important when it comes to traveling as a student. Really the biggest thing that I can say and what it all comes down to is making sacrifices. If you want something badly enough, then you 
you'll be willing to make those sacrifices and do what it takes in order to make it happen. What this looked like for me was having a savings account that has been a huge part of it and putting a little bit of every paycheck I get into the savings account, for example. Um, I've never really had like a detailed budget. I've tried and failed so many times, but I would highly recommend having a budget, especially if you're in school in general, if that is definitely a great idea. So is tracking your spending, having a place to write down everything that comes in and out of your bank account to not only see where your money is going and coming from but also what you're spending on. Back to the whole making sacrifices thing, you definitely want to realize that going to Starbucks every day or eating out every day is probably not going to help. Every once in a while, of course, you can budget for that. Like for me, I try to very much limit the amount of money I spend food on. Like, I love going out and everything. I love going to restaurants. But I try my best to not have to buy food at school and all of that. Just throwing some examples out there. Basically, what I did to make the Europe trip a reality, because I'm not gonna lie, it was a very expensive trip um, but it was completely worth it I am I don't regret it at all of course it was so much fun I got to see a lot there was it was just a ton of value yeah it was it was definitely worth the price but what I had to do was you know keep working during the school year I know some people that don't work at all during the school year and just focus only on school but I always have had a part-time job during school, whether it's high school or university. I'll work like, you know, in the summer and then just a few times a week during school. I gotta do what's necessary. I know, like, basically how my trip worked. Like, I had to pay a certain amount of money every month. It was automated. I had the option to do it myself or just have it be automatic. So, I knew that I had to a certain amount of money every month for this and I actually managed to pay off the entire trip without like dipping into my savings account at all so I still was able to keep the money I had saved from working in the past and even add to it a little bit while actually paying off the trip and I was so proud of myself for doing that it just felt so good. During my first year of university, I had like my summer job at a golf course that I've been at for a while now and then I knew like during the winter I would have to look for something else in order to make this happen. I got a job at a grocery store, gotta do what you gotta do, so that's what I did. Like, I was also so busy during my first year of university, I was... You know, I had a full course load, I was working on the weekends, and I was also doing competitive cheerleading too. It was a little hectic, but I still, you know, I still managed to stay on track and meet that goal every month. Just keep the image in your mind of where you're going, where you want to be, and you, know, just, you just know that every day you're doing something to get closer to that place. I just kept picturing like going to the beach in the French Riviera and you know eating Italian food outside on the cobblestone street, seeing the Colosseum, all of that. I knew that this was coming and I was like oh my gosh like just I'll do whatever it takes to make this happen basically because I wanted it so bad. I wouldn't have had it any other way. And also the self-satisfaction of being able to do that yourself is really good too. Another large component of me being able to afford to travel while being in school, living at home, so not having to pay rent, which I am so incredibly thankful for. I'm going to school in like my hometown, so I didn't move away or anything. Not to say that it's not possible to travel if you have to do that as well. That's just how I've done it. That is my personal experience. Another thing is that I don't have a car at the moment. You know, I've always thought like, oh, it'd be so convenient to have my own car, like, that'd be nice and all of that, but I started to realize, like, you know, I could either use my money, the money I'm making, to pay for a car, or I could put it towards travel. 
and I thought it was always in the back of my mind and I just knew that traveling meant a lot more to me and I was willing to sacrifice having a car in order to make it happen. I don't know, us being like a young person, I didn't want to have to pay for a car and gas and insurance every month, like it adds up so much and I knew that it would be even more than the cost of the trips that was going on. So yeah, and I also live super close to my university too, so it wasn't like a huge deal. It all comes back to making sacrifices. I just, it made me uncomfortable, <laughs> or it would make me uncomfortable knowing like, oh, like I'm paying for this car right now, but I could be using this money to travel which I want to do so much more. Of course, it depends on every person. Everyone's situation is different. Another huge component is having the time to travel, which, you know, everyone's always like, oh, I don't have time for this. Like, I don't know when it's gonna happen and everything. Get pretty creative with what time you have. So, for example, if you're in school, you could travel during your break. You could travel when you don't have any classes. Um, or another great option is to do an exchange. Most universities have like exchange programs or study abroad options. So definitely look into that. I think that would be so cool. I've always thought about doing that. It's always something I have definitely considered doing. I haven't done it yet and I'm not sure if I will, but it is such a great option. Oh, you could live in another country for like a full semester or a year or like go for the summer or something and get credits while you're there though so definitely like check in with your school go to an advisor and see if there's an option for you because i know like everyone i know personally who has done studying abroad has absolutely loved it so that's a great option too again when i went to europe that was during the summer of last year so it was actually at the very end of august like the last two weeks so I came back like literally a few days before my second year started, which was pretty crazy. But it worked out really well. I could like work the entire summer leading up to it and just go away for the last two weeks. So that was awesome. Maui was, like I said, during the middle of the semester. I would recommend not missing school if that is an option. But since we couldn't exactly decide when to go for this trip, I just had to talk to my professor. Luckily they are very understanding and I was able to write my two midterms when I got back and I had to hand in a very large paper while I was there. I honestly had some very early mornings but it was totally worth it. I had no complaints about having to study by the pool or by the ocean in Maui. Like, was totally fine. <laughs> my latest trip to Taiwan was over my week-long reading break so I didn't have to miss any school for that one which was perfect because <laughs> um, I knew I would not be doing any kind of homework when I was there. I was staying with my friend and we were trying to do so much um, in Taipei and Taichung and just see everything. There's still so much that we have to do next time but yeah, it was truly an incredible experience. So those are just some examples. I definitely look at when your semesters line up and what you might be able to do here and there throughout the year. And definitely see what opportunities your school has. Like there's so many options. It's totally possible. And then quickly before this video gets very long. I feel like I'm just going off on so many tangents right now. The last thing that I think is absolutely essential to, of course, anything, but traveling and wanting to travel as a student would be your mindset. Your mindset totally affects everything. You don't even realize it. You have to put it out there that it's totally possible and that you want to travel and that you're willing to do what it takes to make it happen. Definitely having a positive attitude in general is life changing. When you focus so hard and put so much energy into something that you believe in and that you want to do, then things are going to come into your life that, you know, push you a little bit further and further towards. Make it your reality. Like if you want to do something so bad, say you want to go to Europe so badly, like I have 
for pretty much my whole life. Like, I remember watching so many travel vlogs and like going on Pinterest and looking at photos and I was like, this is absolutely happening. Put it out there and you never know what's going to happen. Another thing that I would suggest is to make a vision board. I still want to do this. I still have been meaning to do this lately, but make a vision board and put photos of the places you want to visit on it. Put it somewhere where you can see every day. It's going to definitely motivate you when things get tough and you get super busy like working and studying at the same time, but you're going to be like, that's why I'm doing this. It's just all like remembering why you're doing what you're doing. That pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to go over for this video. I feel like it was a little random, um, but yeah, kind of wanted to go over like my own experience with being at university and traveling. There's so many different ways you could do it, of course. So I just wanted to like go over how I've done it and the things that I've personally done to make it possible since it totally totally is possible and I just really want you to realize that and I just knew that I couldn't wait until I was done like I I think traveling is so important when you're young especially you just gotta get out of your own place sometimes and just see what's out there like it is incredible yeah let me know if you want me to go in depth into any more of my experiences and the places I've gone so I'm editing my Taiwan vlogs right now. I don't know if they'll all be up by this time or... So thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow me on Instagram at hollyelisa a to see more travel related things. I always post on there and yeah make sure to subscribe for more travel videos and let me know what else you want to see. I, there's so many videos I want to make but I would love to hear what you would like to see as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time.